quarter before the hour. It is, it was a Hollywood institution. For over 80 years, anyone who was anyone stayed at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Charlie Chaplin, John F. Kennedy, Catherine Hepburn, and the Duke of Windsor, just some of the names. But like other aging Hollywood legends, the Beverly Hills Hotel needed a facelift. It got it. It took two years. Actor James Brolin, star of the old television series Hotel, takes you on a tour of the new Beverly Hills Hotel. Every corner of the Beverly Hills Hotel probably holds a legendary Hollywood tale in its shadows. There are the rooms Marilyn Monroe and Yves Montan romanced in during their filming of Let's Make Love. The trees Howard Hughes requested be the hidden cache for his stash of roast beef sandwiches or the bungalows Elizabeth Taylor visited with each of her seven husbands. It's known as the Pink Palace, a big bright pastel site right off of Sunset Boulevard. It's been a playground for the world's elite for over 80 years. As a kid, I was uh, pulled into the Hollywood mystique. I lived up to Kenya, ride my bike down here and check out the place and see who was here. But for the past two and a half years, these rooms have been closed, making way for a massive and impressive renovation. Back in 1912, it cost $500,000 to build. Today's reconstruction cost a staggering $100 million, restoring, in loving detail, the hotel to its original condition. Where does $100 million go? Is it going to pencil out? Oh, certainly, yeah. certainly. We knew everything, how much it's going to cost us, and we have our projection, and uh, yeah. how much we're going to make it, but it's a long term. Yeah. The hotel's signature pink has returned, as has its quirky banana leaf wallpaper and its poolside cabana club, made famous in films like Designing Women with Gregory Peck. We have a new feature here. We have chill towels. No. You never heard about that before. No, I never heard okay. of it, period. And you just feel this. Oh, my gosh. Sven Peterson has kept his feet wet as manager of the pool and cabana area since 1959. I'm sure there's a few anecdotes over the years. I understand the Beatles had a few crazy times out here. They couldn't get out of their bungalow <laughs> because there were so many fans around there. So they rented a limo and put some uh, oversized clothes on and fake beards and stuff. Then they walked into the limo and drove around the back door and I let them in, and uh, nobody never knew they were in here. <laughs> Good afternoon, this is Nino. This is the Polo Lounge. Can I, may I help you? For 25 years, Nino Osti was the maitre d' in the hotel's famous Polo Lounge, said to be the location for the first Hollywood power lunch. Over the years, you've seen a lot of people come through that door, a lot of uh, royalty, a lot of celebrities. Have you seen anything uh, outlandish? Well, that's kind of a ticklish question. Mm -hmm. I get along so well with the people. It's, I I'm like the three monkeys, you see. No see, no hear, no talk. Uh -huh. Already, Hollywood heavies are reserving their polo lounge seats and their hotel rooms. In 1912, room rates were $18. Now the bargain rooms are $275, and the upper suites will run you a cool $3,000 a night. The doors open this Friday, and no doubt soon Sven Peterson and Nino Osti will have many more legendary Hollywood tales to tell. Tales to tell, but maitre d's never tell, apparently. 12 before the hour, coming next.